Hello everyone, I'm Chen Zhao from Kyushu Institute of Technology. In this video, I will give a brief introduction about our work published at Canada 2020. The title of my presentation is Architecture Aware Cost of Function for 3D RPG Placement Using Convolutional Neural Network. First, I will introduce about the RPG placement. The placement is a very important process of RPG backend design flow. It will determine the places of logic cells. As this example shows, a bad placement will lead to a longer wireless usage after routing. On the other hand, a good placement will lead to a shorter wireless usage after routing. This is just a very simple example of placement. In the real circuit, there are a large number of logics with very complex interconnections, so the placement problem is known to be NP-hard. But how can we resume the necessary wire length of a net before routing? Let's use the net1 as an example. During the placement phase, we only know the locations of these green logics. We want to resume the length of the red wires. So can we just invoke a routing process to get this wire length? The answer will be no. It is too expensive because routing is a problem to find the minimum standard tree, which is also known to be NP-hard in graph processing. By now, almost all RPG and real-side placement algorithms use HPWL model as a cost function. The HPWL means half parameter wire length. We call a minimum rectangle that can cover all terminals of a net a bounding box. The HPWL indicates the half length of the bounding box parameter of a net. Smaller HPWL value means related logics are placed closer, also means the shorter wire length will be used but it only works for regular 2D routing structure. The traditional HPWL does not work for some new complex routing structures like 3D RPGs or 3D ICs. In these devices, net terminals are placed closely but need a long wire to leverage through silicon vias to another layer. Another example is dedicated routing networks. In these devices, net terminals are placed far, but the wiring delay cost is low because the dedicated routing network is optimized for low latency. So in order to explore these new routing architectures, we must find a new method to estimate net wire lengths. In this work, we use a 3D IOB based 3D RPG as a case study of complex routing structure. As we can see from this figure, we have a two-layer 3D RPG here. The interlayer connections made of TSVs are placed at I.O. blocks. Any interlayer connections must be routed to I.O.B. to go to another layer. So the problem of the bounding box here is it only allocates net terminals closer, but cannot consider the interlayer connectivity. We can see the HPWL tells the cost is 4, but the real wire length of this net is 8. We cannot get a good placement without estimating its net wire length accurately in this case. So, how do we solve this problem? Our approach is to propose an architecture aware cost function using CNA, convolutional neural network. As we know, the CNNs have very good accuracy on image classification tasks. We can see here, the wire length prediction can be considered as an image classification problem. We first translate coordinates of terminals of a net to tensor, then we feed it into a CNN, and the CNN classifies the shape into a length between the minimum length and the maximum length of all nets. By using real routed net wire lengths of a specified device, we can train a CNN to learn its routing structure and accurately estimate the wire lengths of a net from its terminal coordinates. Please note that we are the first to prove the CNN can accurately predict the length of a minimum standard tree 
this method is also applicable to other problems using Stainer tree. Next, I want to explain how to generate a dataset for CNN training and validation. We used a certain VPR benchmark circuits, which are widely used in IPG researches. We implemented this circuit with our previously developed 3D IPG design flow. After routing, we calculate the actual routed wire length of all nets and get the dataset. We then extracted interlayer nets only because the inner layer nets does not use TSVs, so their placement are the same with 2D RPGs. We only focus on interlayer nets. Next, we do the data augmentation by flipping X, Y, and Z coordinates. The data augmentation can improve generalization of CNN. At last, we use 70% data for training and 30% data for validation. Now we have the data set, then we have to explore an optimal structure of CN model with relatively high accuracy and fewer operations. We explored 100 CN structures with Optuner and decided to use this two-layer CN model which has 91.9% .9 accuracy and 75.1 million MAC operations. Its hyperparameters are listed in this table. At last, we implemented the optimal CN model into our 3D placement tool, modified from the academic tool VPR. The placement tool uses a simulated annealing algorithm as the optimizer. We adopted a two-stage placement method. With range limitation larger than 5, we use CNN as cost function, which can accurately estimate wire length and lead to a general good placement. When range limitation smaller than 5, we switch to common HPWL cost function for its good capability to improve local refinement. The switch point of range limitation of 5 is determined from this experiment. We can see that 5 is the best switch point to minimize the total wire length. Next, let's see the evaluation. This table shows the 3D RPG architecture parameters. We implemented a two-layer RPG with a array size of uh, 52 by 52. So the size of the input feature map of the CNN is 52 by 52 by 2. Next, Let's check the wireless prediction accuracy results. As we expected, the CNN has much higher prediction accuracy than HPWL. We can see over 80% of nets have prediction percentage errors within 5%. On the other hand, HPWL only has 4.1% of nets within this range. This figure shows the percentage error distribution of the number of net terminals. We can see when the number of net terminals is larger than 100, in particular, the CNN can predict the net wire length with high accuracy. In contrast, the more terminals in the net, the farther the HPWL predict wire length deviates from the actual value. So does a better prediction accuracy can lead to a better routing? The answer is yes. We can see from this table, for all benchmarks, the final wire length reduced about 16.5% on average. For the best case of RS Decoder 1, which is a smaller circuit with a high ratio of interlayer connections, the CN achieved a 53% of wire length improvement. At last, there is a big challenge of the proposed CN cost function, which is a processing speed. We can see from this table even we use a GPU to accelerate the inference processing. A single net processing time of CNN is still five orders slower than HPWL. Practically, because we only use CNN for interlayer nets, speed gap can be improved to three orders. We believe that this gap can be merged further by using ultra low latency CNN accelerators in the future. Okay, let's conclude this work. We have proposed an architecture of their 3D placement using a CN-based net wireless prediction model 
as a cost function for global placement phase. The CN-based 3D pricer improves the total wireless by 65% on average. However, the processing speed of the proposed CN-based 3D pricer is slower than that of uh, HPWL-based one. In future work, we intend to investigate approaches to speed up the proposed uh, 3D placement tool and evaluate the proposed method on more devices with complex routing structures. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for your attention.